My dear students, today we are going to discuss the Hindu dated May 19, 2023. The purpose of this program is to give you an idea about how to utilize the newspaper while you prepare for a competitive exam, say bank exams. On the front page, Congress ends uncertainty, picks Sidramaya as Chief Minister. We know that uh, recently the elections were conducted for the Karnataka Legislative Assembly, Congress won 135 seats in a 224 uh, member assembly. Congress was poised to make the government, but there were uh, confusions with regard to who would uh, uh, be the uh, legislative party leader. Finally, the clouds are clear. Siddharamaya would become the chief minister of uh, uh, Karnataka for the second time. Another important news is uh, the change in the portfolio of uh, Kiran Rijiju, who was the law minister of the country. Kiran Rijiju was removed as the law minister of the country and uh, Arjun Ram Mekwal has been his replacement. Kiran, Kiran Rijiju was continuously making uh, unacceptable comments on judiciary. He was showing his uh, uh, resentment with regard to the collegium um, selection, the collegium method to select uh, Supreme Court, the Supreme Court and the High Court judges. Um, he was of, of the opinion that uh, judges must be selected not by the judiciary but by the government, the elected government, the executive. Anyway, he, it appeared that he uh, overstepped many times which uh, the judiciary or the judicial circles didn't like. Finally, the government uh, has uh, shown him the way. He is no longer the law minister of India. He has been moved on to another ministry. Compared to the ministry that he has been holding, it is a ministry with less importance. Mekhawal, the presently the state for parliamentary affairs, has been made uh, uh, the minister for independent charges in the law and justice ministry. Rijiju has been critical about the existing collegium system of appointing judges to the higher judiciary. He made a lot of controversial statements uh, regarding this particular issue. Of course, you have to read the regional pages also, but I am moving on to the center page. Uh, the second editorial of the Hindu has been very, very important. It's about the meteorological organization, the World Meteorological Organization's warning. We know about global warming, global temperatures are going up. We are emitting a lot of carbon thanks to industrialization. The World Meteorological Organization warns that the global temperature will go beyond 1.5 degrees Celsius than the pre-industrial level if things go like this. It looks as if countries have given a lot of uh, commitments to control carbon emission and hence to control uh, global warming. But when it comes to reality, countries, uh, it looks as if they are not that much committed. That is what the Hindu has criticized. The World Meteorological Organization has issued its annual update on its projections for temperature trends in the next decade. It is going to rise between 2023 to 27, 23 and 27. It is going to rise between 1.1 degree Celsius to 1.8 degree Celsius, higher than the average from 1850 to 1900. So the global temperatures are going up. That is going to be uh, setting the alarm for all of us. Another uh, center page edit article. It's about uh, a new book written by. Bernie Sanders, who is a senator, it's okay to be angry about capitalism. It's a book. Please read this article. The, the article is written by Atanu Bishwas, professor of statistics in the Indian Statistical Institute, Kolkata. Recently, the senator has made a comment that uh, any American, if he makes more than 999 million, 
then 100% of that surplus amount should be confiscated by the government. Uh, this was his thought of uh, his way of thinking. Uh, but Professor Atanu Bishwas says that money is about more than survival. The argument of Bernie Sanders is that you don't require that much money for survival. So if you make more than 999 million, 100% of that surplus amount should be confiscated by the state because you have more than what to survive. So the professor says that you require money not just for survival, even for greater pleasures you need money. So this uh, argument doesn't hold good. That's what he says. Please read. It's a very good article. India is planning to hold Quad meeting. Quad is an alliance of uh, India, Australia, Japan and United States of America. Quad is seen uh, or China has uh, christened the Quad as the Asian NATO. Anyway, India is going ahead with the Quad meeting. Quad meeting was, uh, was to be held in uh, uh, Australia. But now uh, on the sidelines of the G7 meeting in Hiroshima, Quad leaders will meet. Another thing is uh, the in Papua New Guinea, Indian the, the forum of India Pacific Island Corporation uh, will be led by India. So these are two international commitments of our Prime Minister. Please read. Prime Minister Modi to inaugurate new parliament building on May 28. It is going to be a very important uh, question for your future exams. By spending 970 crore, a new parliament building is coming up. It is designed by Ahmedabad based HCP Design, the company's name. And uh, the planning and management and construction was done by Tata Projects Limited. The new building can hold 888 members of Lok Sabha. Presently, Lok Sabha has got 543 plus 2, 545 members, 543 elected members and 2 members from the Anglo-Indian community as may be appointed by the President of India, so 545. Now the new house can hold 888 members. In the Lajja Sabha, there are 250 members now, 238 plus 12 nominated, 250 members can be there. The present Rajya Sabha can hold 250 members, but the new Rajya Sabha uh, housing, it can hold 300 members. In the case of a joint summit of the parliament, then all the MPs will sit in the Lok Sabha, which can accommodate 1,280 MPs. So that's it. Now, the old parliament building was built in 1927. It is almost 100 years old. The construction of the new parliament was about to be finished in 2022. But thanks to COVID and the related issues, uh, the construction was delayed. But on May 28, the parliament session will start. So the winter session hopefully would be held in the new parliament building. On page 10, there is a report on lumpy skin disease. We have been reading about lumpy skin disease which affected the cattle population of India. Uh, in the last six months, there have been huge news about uh, this lumpy skin disease. 1.89 lakh cattle are reported have been eliminated by this lumpy skin disease. So that results in lower production of milk in India. That's where the milk prices are soaring up. Now the government, there are fresh cases. Another 10,000 cases are reported. Lumpy skin diseases, uh, disease cases are reported. So the government is going to start the re-vaccination. Another thing, Kangra tea of Himachal registered for GI tag with the European Union. Himachal Pradesh Kangra tea, they have gone for the geographical indication, patents, trademarks, um, geographical indication, all these things are different ways of obtaining intellectual property rights. So, Himachal Pradesh Kangra tea has gone for um, geographical indication. See, Kanji Pat, Azam Wali tea, 
basmati rice these are classic examples for different geographical indications so geographical indication india has applied for uh, himachal pradesh kangra tea has applied for geographical indications so once that indication gi tag is given then others won't be able to use the same name for the product for their product bring back kohinoor from the uk parliamentary panel uh, from the uk parliamentary panel notes in its report uh, the parliamentary standing committee has made its report asking to take initiative to bring back uh, the kohinoor we know that uh, kohinoor was uh, uh, gifted to united kingdom in 1849 by maharaja dalip singh and uh, uh, in a, in a peace treaty with the united kingdom so kohinoor was gifted to united states sorry united kingdom in 1849 by maharaja dalip singh under a treaty with britain now kohinoor is kohinoor uh, is embedded in the crown of the british monarchy so it was gifted in 1849 now the parliamentary committee says that we have to take measures to bring back but the international treaties are against bringing back something that has already been gifted if it were uh, taken away by force from india we could have taken action to bring back or if it was taken away through any illegal measures we had legal provisions to bring uh, them back but it was gifted can a gift be taken back is uh, going to be a legal question state bank of india's q4 quarter four profit has surged by 83% to touch 16695 crore this is a quarter four profit profit for the whole year 2022-23 for the first time has crossed 50000 crore to touch 50232 crore these are important statistics very important from the perspective of your exams too see the newspaper is to be read from the point of view of enlightenment joy and getting more informed of course as a student of competitive examination you have another angle you have to read the newspaper from the perspective of how the questions may be framed for the exams anyway spend quality 2 hours in reading the newspapers that is going to take you your chances like anything your english will improve your vocabulary will improve your reasoning will improve because as you may know reasoning questions mostly the logical part of questions most of the questions or the situations of the questions are taken straight away straight from the newspapers so if you are a good reader of newspapers your reasoning will also improve i am sure that my students will read the newspapers in uh, diligently thank you very much we shall meet again tomorrow bye bye